All right, I wanted to touch more on this page attribute section here um, and uh, its importance in the page building screen. Um, so again, WordPress has, um, and really any website, has, has a hierarchy to it. Uh, so for instance, um, you, have, you may have your admissions page, and then underneath your admissions page, you have your, your visit page, visit campus page. Um, so uh, basically what it's saying, this determines your hierarchy, your place, your page's place in uh, the order. Um, so this is the page that we created a couple of videos back. Um, and let's say that this uh, is not the parent page. We want this to display underneath um, my dojo page. Um, so we're just going to set that as the parent um, and update that. Uh, and I just want to show you this open up the page here. Um, th this affects a couple things. Again, it just uh, kind of affects the nesting and the page hierarchy, which is really important, but it also affects your breadcrumbs up here. Uh, so in the last video, you saw that Test jo Dojo page was the uh, was right here next to this home icon. Now you'll see it's below Kevin Moser's Dojo. That's because uh, in the back end here, we've said that this is the parent page, Kevin Moser's Dojo. So you can see that shows up then as a parent page above that, uh, and then if you were to click on that, that would lead you to that page. Um, so, um, so that's just kind of how hierarchy works, page hierarchy works within WordPress, um, and that's what this this parent page means. Uh, you can nest this down as far as you want. So, so let's say we, we create another page and we want to nest it underneath this test dojo page. Um, that would then show up if you were to look at that page. You would see this. Kevin Moser Dojo, Test Dojo page, and then your new page. Um, so that just kind of determines that that hierarchy there, um, as well as within our sitemap and everything. Um, so that that's fairly important. Uh, you you want this to um, reflect the actual hierarchy. So just be aware that you know if you're uh, you're working on the the business contest page, let's, let's say, uh, and you're creating a new page for uh, applicants you want that to be nested under the business content page. So that's kind of what this means, uh, that parent thing. Uh, template, you won't have to worry too much about it. Uh, we're pretty, um, I mean, depending on what you're doing, you're probably going to be pretty limited on your template choice. Right now there's a lot here, but you may only have access to default template um, or perhaps another one. But this basically decides which template um, it's going to apply to the apply to the page. Um, so just stick with default template. There's not really any reason right now uh, that you would need to use a different template. Um, so that's what that does. Um, order this. Let's say uh, you have multiple pages nested underneath Kevin Moser's Dojo. Let's say we have five other pages, but we want this one to show up number one in the order, or maybe we want this one to show up fifth in the order. That's what that order means. It means if you have siblings, uh, other pages that are nested under this page, it just determines the order of that. Again, it's it's a hierarchy thing um, that you just want that uh, that order the right way. This is not really as important unless you're doing specifically like ordered pages um, that it would matter. But for the most part, uh, most of the siblings are fine being in the same order. There's no reason to kind of differentiate that. Um, so that's what that does. So you can just usually. 99% of the time, probably just leave that blank. It's not going to matter. Um, and again, default template, you don't really need to mess with that uh, because you'll only pretty much be using the, the default template there. Um, and then that's your, your parent page.